everyone. So, um, yesterday I posted my finale for my finish seven by spring is what it was called. So if you didn't see that, I'll go ahead and link it right down below and you can see what I used up and what I unfortunately didn't make it through um, in that time span. So I decided today I was going to go ahead and post my, <coughs> excuse me, my five by Cinco de Mayo. So I'm going to try to finish up five makeup products before the 5th of May, which gives me about a month and a half or so. Now all of these I do have on today. I also wanted to go ahead and just give you a quick little mention. I do only do makeup products for these things. Because the whole point, in my opinion, is making sure you're using up things that you're not really giving enough attention to um, in your collection. So these are things I usually, I don't love or I just want to kind of focus in on one thing instead of having like 18 options. Um, also, I just wanted to also mention that um, I had two things that I didn't finish up. One of them was the eyeliner and I'm not putting either one of those in this 5 by Cinco de Mayo. The eyeliner, I honestly don't think I could finish up in that time span because I used it every day for uh, over a month and I barely got any progress just because it's so heavily pigmented. And the other like face spotlight highlighter thing I didn't put in here um, because I wanted to put something else in there that was similar. And it was there's only a few uses of that left. So I didn't want to like put it in and it'd be done in less than a week if that makes sense. So, anyway, let's get into these actual five products. All of them, again, are on my face today. This is the Too Faced Lash Gasm Mascara. So, I have done a whole mascara dupe video, and I have a CoverGirl dupe for this mascara. But, see, I'm really bad about mascaras because I don't focus in on one, and I have way too many open. So, I'm going to try to focus in and get all the ones that I have open out of my collection, and so I can start opening, because I have probably... I don't know. I don't want to be dramatic, but I would say close to 10 not open right now in my collection. They're just sitting there because I'm trying to get through these other things. So there's the wand. It's a spiky wand um, that's with bristles. It's uh, rubber. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I really like the way it looks. It gives you a lot of length. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in on my, or try to show you my lashes. So that's the look it gives you, and I think um, it's it's fine. It's not all. It's not dried out by any means, but I could definitely see it being gone uh, in the month and a half. So that's the plan. Next, I'll do this guy, which I have on today um, under my foundation, and it's called Mana Kadar Sheer Lotion Shimmer Lotion Sheer Glow Sim Shimmer Lotion. Excuse me, and it's this pink tone lotion, and I'm using it. Um, after my primer before my foundation and it's supposed to give you a glow I did notice a little bit of a glow that I have on highlight trust me that's not all it does but it's really sheer it's right here so I mean you can't really I mean you can kind of see it but I think you know especially for right now I love glowy skin I just think it's really pretty um, and I have dry skin so I need every help I can get all the help I can get to make it a little bit glowier so I put it all on my face um, below my foundation and hopefully I can get this gone because one of the reasons why this is in here is because I haven't really used it at all. Um, next is going to be a lip product and this is really frustrating because it's going to look like I've gotten a lot of use out of it and I think I've used it including today twice. This came in the Sephora Meet Your Match set and uh, no, give me some lip set. I've done a review of that. I'll link that below as well and it was already like halfway gone when I used it. It's, it smells delicious and it just gives you a little bit of color not that much it's very sheer it smells like cake but it gives you kind of a tingly feel it looks like it's mauve with some gold glitter but that doesn't come off too well right there I know I told you what it is it's the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade uh, 302 kissability on my lips right now it's okay I definitely can get through with this and again it's one of those things that I don't grab for because I don't think it gives you that much of a difference so I would like to get this out of my collection and at least for I've heard really great things about his glosses but for this shade I would not repurchase next is this guy this is the hard candy glamouflage concealer pencil so when you buy this Glamouflage, which I also have a review of, link it down below, link in everything. I like to do reviews a lot, um, so, you know, haven't had reviews of these. 
So um, when you get this, it comes with this little bitty pencil. I've never used this. That's not true. I used it once actually as a demo in that review because it's it's just a nude pencil. It's a little bit dark for me. Actually, it's right there, but it blends out nicely. Um, I do have it on today on some of my spots. It would not work under your eyeballs, obviously, but just as a spot concealer. Um, I tried to use it as a inner rim, rim highlighter, and I tried that in that video, and it burned my eyeballs so bad. So don't use it for that. I'm just going to use it to spot conceal and hopefully have this guy gone by Cinco de Mayo as well. And this is the one... <coughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna finish up but it's gonna be a challenge and I don't want to just do a bunch of things that I definitely think I can get through so this is the bare minerals uh, flawless radiance powder and I, I if you smack it all down to the bottom I'm probably about halfway through it is the golden highlight that I have today it's on my nose and on my cheekbones it's very highlighty I like a, a very vibrant highlighter um, it's kind of a golden, it's got silver glitter in the pan. I hope y'all can see that. I, I've said it many times, a lot of people are very against loose powders. It doesn't bother me at all. So, let's see if I can, you know, highlighters don't swatch well at all. So, there we go. It's right there. And again, it is on my face. It, it, it. And when you swatch it out, it almost looks more champagne-y. But it's right at the bottom. And again, it is what I have on my cheeks today. So, there's quite a bit of this left. Um, so, I'm not sure I can finish it up. But I would like to try. I love highlighter. I think it's just great. And this is the only one. Um, and I've never finished one up. I haven't finished up most makeup products. So, I would like to finish this up and it be totally gone and out of my collection. So, those are the five products I want to finish up by the 5th of May. Let me know if you're doing this or um, if you like these kind of videos. I think they're really fun and exciting and they really make sure that I am working through my makeup collection which is obviously always the goal. So thank you so so much for watching and I will see you all real soon. Bye!